yeah, World of Happy, in essence, is a, is a collection of stories that focus on, essentially, on positive values. So, friendship, trust, respect, love, joy, and, as you might expect, happiness. As a children's writer, I feel I'm slightly on a, on a mission to preach about the fact that, um, that happiness is, I mean, terribly important. It seems self-evident, but I don't think people necessarily view the world in that way. And, you know, as I get older, and as, particularly as I'm a parent now of four children, it seems more important than ever now to me to try to encourage them naturally to think of the world as a positive place. I mean, a book is such a precious vehicle for just sharing a bit of peaceful time and a bit of thoughtful, reflective time. I mean, normally, I start with books. I work from books and then they may or may not translate into other media, television obviously in particular. Uh, but in this instance, they were commissioned as films from the beginning. 13 very short little two-minute animations. Uh, so we made them as films, uh, they got broadcast, and it was only once that was done, because they were made very quickly, that I really had time to put my head above the parapet, have a look around and see what else they might, um, what other media they might work in, and, and I suppose books was, was a very obvious one, the first one. The, the language is modern, the style of illustration is very clean and very contemporary. I think the sort of playfulness of the books is very contemporary as well but the values, some would say, are quite, uh, quite traditional. One thing I really wanted to do with these books was to keep them absolutely as short as possible because we all have such short attention spans as parents, we're always terribly busy and, and we now live in an age of really sort of bite-sized, snacking-style media and to make fables, to make little parables really, really short is, is quite hard work. I mean, it's much easier to write too much than too little. I think books have a unique ability to make children feel happy. On one level you have a funky purple hippo dancing, which is great fun for a two-year-old, three-year-old to look at, but on another level I want them to understand that that book is about celebrating your own individuality. So I have to think quite carefully about how to get these messages through to very tiny people as much as to big people like me. We've put this uh, launch of 13 books together reasonably quickly so everybody's been tearing around trying to get these together but in the background when I've had time uh, I'm thinking very carefully about the next few. Uh, the fact is that I actually can't wait to write them. <laughs>